Hello everyone. Earlier we learned about Dobrynin strides where sets of 3 elements were arranged based on their atomic masses. Though Dobrynin could classify only 9 elements, his work encouraged other scientists to study elements in a better way. One such scientist was a British chemist called John Newlands. John Newlands was the chief chemist of a sugar refinery in London. Later he quit his job and started working with his brother Benjamin. He actively started studying elements in different ways. After a lot of thinking an idea struck him. He arranged the then known elements from hydrogen to thorium in increasing order of atomic masses. Interestingly, he found a pattern. But before that, let me ask you. Have you ever played a piano? You must have heard the musical notes Sa Re Ga Ma Pa Da Ni Sa. A set of 8 musical notes is called an octave. Here, clearly the 8th note Sa resembles the first one in the octave. This is exactly what Newlands observed where every eighth element has properties similar to the first one like lithium here has properties similar to sodium which is the eighth element after lithium similarly boron and aluminum share similar properties this became the basis for what he called the law of octaves the law states that Every eighth element in the order of increasing atomic masses has similar properties to the first. Newland's law of octaves was precise enough to successfully include Dobrynin's triads. Wow, now that's an achievement. On one hand, this law seemed to have temporarily solved all the problems of classification. But was Newland's law of octaves perfect? Hmm. No. The law had some critical limitations. Let's take a more detailed look at them. Of the 56 elements known at that time, the law of octaves worked only for a few. The law failed beyond calcium. Secondly, he wanted all the elements to follow his law. As a result, he tried to adjust elements such as cobalt and nickel with different atomic masses in the same position. In fact, these elements not only ended up together but also in the same column as chlorine and bromine. Being non-metals, chlorine and bromine were completely different from cobalt and nickel. Hence, cobalt and nickel were a misfit here. This was the third limitation. Iron, which had similar properties to cobalt and nickel, was placed far from them. Similar problems arose when cerium and lanthanum were pushed into the same slot a major blow to the law of octaves was the discovery of a new family of elements called noble gases what do you think could be the possible reason well the noble gases being completely inert had entirely different properties from the rest of the elements thus they could not be accommodated anywhere their existence shifted the positions of other elements like this hydrogen and fluorine are a part of the same octave which is now disturbed by helium as you can see here newlands could not justify these shortcomings and hence the law failed so did anyone come up with a better way to classify elements maybe in some other part of the world This suspense will be revealed in the next video but for now let's have a quick recap Newlands observed that every eighth element had properties similar to the first when they were arranged in increasing order of atomic masses He coined the term law of octaves to represent this eighth element similarity The first limitation of the law of octaves was that it was valid only till calcium The second limitation arose when Newlands adjusted multiple elements with different atomic masses inside one slot. The third limitation occurred when cobalt and nickel in the same slot came in the same group as chlorine and bromine. Finally, the discovery of noble gases entirely shifted the positions of other elements. 
Hope you have learned something interesting. I'll see you in the next video.